ng mensahe ng Panginoon. Napaganda po yung topic natin. Ito po yung topic na daladala uh, ng bawat isa sa atin. Kung wala ito, hindi ka masasabing Christian ka. Hindi ka masasabing may puso ka na kagaya ng Diyos. Amen? Compassion. Amen? Sabi mo sa tabi mo, compassion of Jesus. Compassion of Jesus. Yan. the role model of our life. So, po yung tinitignan natin. So, kung babasahin natin from verse 35 to 38, mapakita ng Panginoon kung, kung bakit uh, nagkaroon siya ng compassion na gano'n. Kung titignan po natin, in this book of Matthew, ipinapakita ng Lord dito na this first ministry started in Galilee. Ito po yun. Sa, sa lugar ng Galilee po yan, kung saan ay nandun lahat ng ginawa niya. Healing, deliverance, forgiveness, lahat ng klase na pangailangan. Sa mga turpang mga kapatid, yung compassion na sinasabi natin, amen, na topic natin, is about the uh, concern and care we love. You are driven by the love of God. Amen. You are inspired by the love of God. Amen. Uh, nakakaroon ka ng compassion because of the love of God. Siya po yung nakupush sa'yo. Amen. Kung bakit ka nakakaroon ng care, concern sa mga kaluluwa, dahil ito po yung love ng Lord sa buhay natin. Amen? That is why we should have that compassion in our heart. Amen? If you have that compassion in your heart, you have the heart of God. Because the true wish compassion is only found in the nature of God. Why? Because God only knows the exact, the exact and the full depth of individual's need, suffering, and pain. Amen? Sino nakakalang yan? Sino nakakalam ng tunay na pangangailangan mo? Tunay na suffering mo? Tunay na pain mo? Tayo marahil maasis natin. Mahapyaw. Amen? But si Lord, the inner part of it, siya po yung may alam. That is why only God knows the individual pain, needs, and suffering. Amen? That is why the truest compassion is only found in the nature of God. Amen? In the nature of God. That is why if you have a compassion over soul, you have the very nature of God. Amen? Ito po yung nais ng Lord na mangyari sa buhay natin. That is why we encourage everyone, all the members, it will not be a committed member here in this church unless he is not evangelist. Amen? Everyone who is a member in this church should be evangelist. He is going out and evangelizing people, sharing, preaching. Amen? Sharing the goodness of God, sharing the love of Jesus. Amen? Without this, you are not so-called committed member in this church because this is the church of God. Jesus Great Commission Church. This is the heart of God. Great Commission. Amen? That is why we always teach, preach, and encourage everyone to go out, share the gospel, share Jesus' love. Amen? And this is our vision and mission. At kailangan po itong mag-iwana sa pahuwi natin mga kapatid. That is why in all our trades, makikita po natin yung vision and mission. It is always seen and read by by uh, all members, amen, so that uh, we will be always be reminded about the vision and mission of the church, amen. You will never be a committed member in this church unless you don't have compassion over soul, amen. amen. This is the exact heart of God. If you don't have that heart, then you don't have heart of God, amen. You got me? Amen. The truest compassion is only found in the nature of God. Amen? Because God only knows the individual need. The full depth, the inner feeling of each individual, ang Lord lamang ang nakakalam nito. What is your need? What is your pain? What is your suffering? Only God knows what is it in you. People might have maybe hint. Amen? But they cannot assess completely the full depth of your pain, the full depth of your suffering, the full depth of your need. Amen? Amen. Only God knows it. That is why the truest compassion is only found in the nature of God. Amen? Because God's heart is compassion over soul. Amen. That is the very heart of God. That is why if we uh, define the compassion in the Bible, we have Mark 2.17. Amen? Take note that uh, kung paano yung dinidipay ng Lord ang 
compassion niya. He did not come here for the uh, for the righteous, but for the unrighteous. Amen. When Jesus heard it, he said to them, "Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Take note of this: sinners to repentance." That is why salvation is not for all the people. God has separated the sheep and the goat. We are after about the loose sheep. Amen? That is why Jesus said, but those who are sick, those who are well have no need of a physician. Amen? But those who are sick, I did not come to call the righteous. But sinners to repentance, those who are lost souls, we are not after all the souls, we are after all the lost sheep of Israel, the house of Israel. Amen? Amen. Yun lamang, yung mga nawawalang kaluluwa ang inaapturan natin. How do you know that? If you have the heart of God. Amen. Amen. Hindi lamang ay naawa ko sa Kanya. You should not be moved by your own. You should be moved by the Spirit of God and the love of God. That is the true compassion. Dahil ang pinapahanap ng Lord sa buhay natin, yung mga loose sheep, loose soul of the house of Israel. Amen? We are all the buyer of Israel. Amen? Ang pinapahanap niya, yung mga kapatid natin nawawala. Amen? Sino sila? Hindi mo nalaman yan kung wala kang compassion. The heart of God. Amen? This is one example of the heart of God. Kung paano, pa, paano tayo nakakaroon ng compassion, yun po. Take note of that. Uh, to repentance, yung mga uh, yung mga makasalanan na na nais manumbalik sa Diyos. Amen? Doon po tayo, dito po yung target ng Lord sa buhay natin. Amen? Amen? Amen. Sabi ng Lord, another one is Luke 19.10. Amen? I have come, sabi ng Lord, to seek and to save the lost. Amen? For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Amen? Take note. Which was lost. They were part. They were under the family members of Israel. At may mga nawawata doon. Why? Because of sin. They have gone astray. Sila po ay uh, kung saan saan napunta. Amen? Nawala. Kagaya natin, tinahak natin ang kanya-kanya natin buhay because we are misguided in the beginning. Amen? Ano pa? Paano yung matutunan natin in the past, during our old uh, life? Amen? Sumamba tayo sa report Amen? Nag-pray tayo ng kung ano-anong klaseng panalangin na hindi naman ayos sa Diyos. Amen? Kung ano yung mga ginagawa natin na ritual. Amen? Which is not according to the Bible. Nawala tayo. Tayo po yung dati na loose sheep. Amen? Loose members of the family of God. Loose uh, sheep ng Israel. Tayo po yung. But now, praise the Lord, we were found. Amen? At Dahil tayo po ay uh, nahanap ng Panginoon, tayo ngayon yung inaatasan niyang hanapin sila. Amen? In order to have this great commission, you should have a compassion over soul. If you don't have any compassion over soul, if you are not going out, you, you are not involved in MFO, you are not involved in evangelism, you are not free. Hindi ka patutay na Dahil yan ang tunay na heart ng Diyos. Evangelization is common for all believers. This is not a gift. This is a common calling for all believers. Kaya nga ang tatak, ang palatandaan ng isang tunay na mananampalataya, may compassion sa mga nawawalang kalulong. Nawawalang kalulong. Dala mo ang evangelization sa buhay. Amen. Nagpupunik ka ng mga kalulong tugan through the church. Amen? Hanggat hindi pa kung mahantong ang buhay mo sa ganyan, hindi ka pa totoong ganap na Christian. Amen? Amen. 
That is why we are talking about the compassion of Christ. Amen? Masakit ito. Tanggapin ang mga hindi talaga ayaw magpasako sa salita ng Diyos. Amen? Para silang, para silang sinusunog pag mga ganitong salita. But this is the real fact, mga kapatid. This is the reality. Ito ang tunay na paratandaan ng tunay Christian. Amen? Siya ay evangelist. Amen? Siya ay nagpupunik ng mga kalaluwa back to God. Amen? Nandoon ang compassion sa kanyang puso. Amen? That is why the Lord has started this ministry in Galilee. Ipinakita niya lang na ito. That is why compassion is the need and the need and the, uh, the, 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 the finding the lost soul, seeking the lost soul. Amen? E, yun po yung pinaka meaning ng compassion. Amen? That is why pinakita ng Lord yan, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save, to save that which was lost. Amen? Maliwanag. Amen. Kanina, ang sabi doon sa Mark 2.17, hindi ako nagpunta rito para sa mga matuti, para sa mga matutuwi, kundi yung mga nangangailangan ng doktor. Amen? Amen. At pagpapatawad. Amen? Panunumbalik. Amen? Panunumbalik. That is why, ang ipinakita ng Lord sa buhay natin, mga kapatid, kung titignan po natin, paano in-instruct ng Lord ang mga disciple, yung mga naunang disciple, the twelve disciples. Amen? <coughs> That is why, they, in the book of Matthew, very, 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 very important book ito, dahil dito naganap yung unang ministry ng Panginoon. Paano talaga siya nagsimula? At paano niya talaga kinumission ang mga first disciples? Amen? At paano niya ipinaliwanag ito? Ano ang gagawin nila? At sino ang mga hanapin nila ipinakunawan ng Panginoon? Amen? In Matthew chapter 10, verses 5 uh, down. Amen? Matthew chapter 10, verse 5, from verse 5 down. Ipinakita ng Panginoon dito. Mga, take note of this, mga kapit. This is a very good uh, study that we have. Amen? Na kailangan niyo maunawaan as Christian. Amen? As I said, you will not be called true Christian, true believers unless you are not committed or involved in the ministry of evangelization. Amen? If you're just sitting down, doing nothing, even you are so-called servant of God, but you don't have a heart to evangelize people, hindi ka papasakay. Amen? At kasama mo yan, dala mo yan, saan ka man itako ng Panginoon. Amen. Pilipinan man, dito man, saan man, kung saan man, sa Dubai man, sa Bata man, saan man. Amen. Dala mo yan lagi. Amen. Amen. Yan ang palakang tandaan ng tutuong Kristiyano. Para tandaan na mayroon pang puso kagaya ng Lord. Amen. So, this 12, Jesus sent out and commanded them, saying, do not go into the way of the Gentiles. Si mga kapatid, tagalog ko lang. Amen. Ang labindalong ito ay sinugo ni Jesus at sila ay pinagbilinan na sinasabi, huwag kayong magsitungo sa alinmang daan ng mga hintil. Take note, we were Gentiles before, Gentiles, non-delivers. Non Amen. We, we were before. Because we were lost sheep. Amen. Tayo po isa sa mga nawawala na anak ng Diyos. But not all Gentiles, not all non-believers, are the loose sheep of Israel. Huwag yung maniwanag po. Ang instruction ng Diyos sa buhay natin is to go and search for all lost sheep. Not just soul, lost souls. Hello? Amen. Amen. Ito po yung compassion na sinasabi ng Lord the need and to seek the loss. Amen? Your, your pain, your suffering, your, your, your need, only God knows the full depth of it. Amen? The full knowledge of it. Amen? Hindi po natin alam yan. Si Lord naman. Amen? Kaya nga, 
when we evangelize, when we go out and look for the lost soul, we are driven by the Spirit of God. Because without that, maaaring magbahagi tayo sa mga common souls. But the Lord is instructing us correct to the loose soul. The loose sheep of Israel. Amen? Hanapin natin yung manawawala. Hindi yung lahat ng kaluluwa, kundi yung lamang nawawalang kaluluwa na kapatid natin, na kabilang sa pamilya ng Diyos. That is why this chapter 10 of Book of Matthew from verse 5, ito po yung full instruction na Lord, clear instruction ng Panginoon sa buhay ng mga first disciple, which is tayo po yung new generation disciples. Amen? Na ito pa rin po yung gagawin po natin. Amen? This 12, oh, alamin na lang ito, sinubo ni Jesus at sila ay pinagbilinan. So may instruction, may commandment na sinasabi, huwag kayong magsitungo sa aninmang daan ng mga hintil. Amen? At huwag kayong magsipasok sa aninmang bayan ng mga taga sa Maria. Next verse, But go rather to the loose sheep of the house of Israel, kundi bagkos magsiparoon kayo sa mga tupang nangawag slit sa bahay ni Israel. Oh! Amen. Amen. Mga kapatid, this is a very clear instruction of God when it comes to evangelization. Amen. When it comes to compassion of the soul. It is not just compassion of the soul, compassion of the loose sheep of Israel. We have to seek and save the lost sheep of Israel. Amen. Ito po yung pangunahing uh, katungkulan natin bilang mga Kristiyano. Amen. Hindi ka matatawag na Kristiyano kung hindi ka engaged, hindi ka committed sa iba at hindi sa Amen. Matagal ka ng Kristiyano pero hindi ka nagpukunit ng mga kaluluwa sa Lord. So, huwag nagito na siya paan. Hindi pa ganap ang pagkakasya. Amen. Wala pa ang puso mong nakagaya ng puso ng Diyos. Ang puso ng Diyos ay kumpasyo sa mga nakawakalang tayo. Amen? Amen. Sabi doon, but go rather to the loose sheep of the house of Israel. And verse 7, As you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen? At samantalang kayo'y nangaglalakad, ay magsipangaral kayo si mga kapatid na si pangaral na mga sabi warningan, babalaan ang mga tao na ang kaharian ng langit ay malapit na. Amen? Amen? Yung po yung mga kailangan natin gawin na sinasabi ng Lord. This is the full instruction of the Lord. So, wait. If you know this, really, you will feel a compassion. Compassion. Like that's Amen? Amen. Verse 8, ang sabi doon, Heal the sick. Amen? How can I heal the sick? Amen? But the Lord will empower you. Amen? Ihanda ka ng Panginoon. Nagagamitin ka to heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. Raise the dead. Wow, wow. Raise the dead. Amen? Many lost souls are dead. But once we are used by God to minister over them, makikita natin, we are raising them from the dead. Amen? They are coming alive. Amen? They are coming back to uh, a, a, a life designed by God. Like you and me. Amen? Dati tayong patay. Spiritual. Amen? Pero ngayon, binuhay niya tayo. We have the resurrection Amen? A life given by the Lord. A life with the Lord. Amen? Ito po yung buhay natin ngayon. We have the resurrection. Now, yung buhay mo ngayon, buhay natin, resurrection life ang tawag niya. Brand new life with the Lord. Amen? So, sabi niya, raise the dead, cast out demons. Amen? The Lord has taught us also how to cast out demons in Jesus' name. Amen? In Jesus' name. But there are demons who is strong, amen, that we need to fast. Amen? Are you ready to sacrifice your tummy? Amen? amen. To sacrifice the good food that we are going to take. 
Amen? Handa ka ba doon? Amen? There is always a purpose, divine purpose for you. You should be led by the Spirit. Amen? And taking fast. That is why instead of eating, you have to pray, 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 meditate, meditate, and ask God how He will use your life. This is how we fast. Amen? So that God will prepare your life to cast out demons. Amen? Amen. Diba? Inaanda tayo ng Panginoon. Then freely you have received, freely give. Who is the giver of all of these gifts? Even the power gifts? Only God. And this is why you collect money. We should share it free of charge. Amen? Magpagaling ka, nagagamitin ka ng Lord to heal all these people from sickness. Amen? Huwag kang magpabayad. Amen? Hindi mo intensyon na magpabayad. Pag nagpagamit ka sa Panginoon, free of charge. Amen? Well, how about those people who will bless your life? Wow, blessing. Bless the bit. Sabi ko ba? Huwag mong tatanggihan ang blessing. Amen? Binigyan ka ng 1 billion US dollar. Wow! Take it. Amen? But give up. The portion belongs to God. Amen? Huwag kang tatanggi. Amen? Ah, mayaman na yan. Hindi ko nabibigyan yan. Hindi ko nabibigyan yan. Why? Hindi ka tuwiran ng totoong krisyano yan. Amen? Ay, mapira na yan. Hindi ko hindi na kailangan ng pera. Hindi ka tuwiran ka. Amen? Kung marunong ka magbalik sa Panginoon, si Lord, marunong din sa magdagdag sa atin. Amen? Amen? Amen. Kaya nga, freely you have received, libre natin, mga kapatid. Sige, pasahin natin sa Tagalog. Mga pagaling kayo ng mga may sakit, magpabangon kayo ng mga patay. Literally, spiritually, mga kapatid, nangyayari po. Amen? Spiritually, lahat ng tao dyan na hindi pa nakakilala, hindi pa nanumbalik, mga patay yan sa spiritual. Amen? Magpapagamit tayo sa Lord para buhayin sila. Mentalin sila sa Diyos at bibigyan sila ng Diyos ng panibagong buhay like you and me. This is now the true life that we have. The resurrection life. Ito yung buhay natin. Amen? Yung po yung sinasabi. Even literal. Amen? Patay na. Wala nang pag-as na. Amen? Pag ginamit ka ng Panginoon, no limit. Amen? Tumuyo ka dyan! Sa pangalan ng Panginoon, tatayo yan. Amen? Kung yan ang talagang plano ng Lord. Amen? Maglakad ka yan! Sa pangalan ng Panginoon, maglalakad yan. Amen? Kahit narinig mong yan ay talaga naka uh, tawag ito, uh, higa na nakalatay na sa bed. Amen? Sa bed ng karamdaman, sabi nga. Amen? Nakalatay na siya. Nakalagaroon na siya. Wala nang kibo, kundi may gesture, gesture lang. Amen? Sulit-sulit marahil ng kanyang mata. Amen? Doon mo lang mapapansin na nagre-respond siya. Amen? Sabi ng Lord, may pag-asa pa yan. Kung! Amen? Siya yung nawawalang anak ng Diyos na ano nung pari. Amen? So, mga glinis kayo ng mga ketong. Wow ha? Ketong. Mga palabas kayo ng mga demonyo. Ayan. Ano yung mga demonyo na yan? Lahat ng bad spirit. Demonyo yan. Spirit. Amen? Name them. Masama mong ginagawa, demonyo yan. Amen? Sakit, demonyo yan. Amen? Ubu, ubu, ano may yan? Demonyo yan. Masama mong spirit yan. Yan ay kinakas tao in Jesus name. Amen? So, tinanggap ninyong walang bayad. See, imagine mga kapatid, you did not study medicine, you did not study law, you did not study uh, magiging soldier, pero ginawa ka ng pahit. Amen? When I was still younger, amen? Younger, pangarap po natin yan, maging attorney, maging doktor, maging sundalo. Amen? Pero hindi na ganap yun sa aking physical life. Pero in my spiritual life, sabi ko sa katay mo, huwag na ganap yan. Amen? Nagaganap yan sa buhay natin. Ginagawa niya tayong attorney, ginagawa tayong 
Sundalo, ginagawa tayo ang doktor. Kasi imagine mga kapatid, pag sumusunod ka sa Diyos, amen, everything will be possible. Amen? Kung ano yung pangailangan, at nandiyan ka nagagamitin ng Panginoon, magaganap. Amen? amen? This is a clear instruction of the Lord how and what to do for this ministry. Maliwanag ito mga kapatid na ipinapakita ng Lord sa buhay natin. Amen? Tinanggap ninyong walang bayad. Amen? See? Inigip ko ng Lord. Nagpapaawit ka na. Nakakapagpuri ka na. Naglilid ka na ng worship sa Lord. Naglilid ka ng praise sa Lord. Tinanggap mong libre yan. Ibahagi mong libre din. Amen? 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 Tinuro ka ng Panginoon. Hindi ka marunong magluto. Kahit dito sa Espiritu, ang tuturo ang magluto. Ibahagi mong libre. Lahat ng, ano, ginatiwala ng Lord sa buhay natin, ibahagi natin yung Amen? Ayaan natin sila yung mag-bless sa buhay natin. Gagamitin sila ng Panginoon para hipuin tayo. Pero hindi po tayo nagdidiman. Amen? Because we are not mercenary. Amen? Hindi tayo yung uh, bayaran. Amen? But we are missionary. Amen? Amen. Libre free of course. Tangi ang Lord naman ang mag-aayos ang bawat bagay sa buhay natin. Amen. Hindi tayo hihingi. Hindi tayo magdidiman. Amen? See, in the church, you cannot find anything like this. Amen? Na nagpapayad tayo. Amen? They are free to come here in this church. Amen? Amen? Amen. We are conducting training, training, many things. Pero free of charge. Amen? We are not charging anything from them. Amen? Why? Ayaw mo ang Lord na mag-bless to you. Sumunod tayo sa salita niyo. Habang sumusunod ka sa salita niyo, si Lord ang bahala sa buhay. Amen? Amen? Sabi ng verse 9, Provide neither gold nor silver nor copper in your... Si mga kapatid, wala kang dadaling sa video. Amen? It is not because you don't have money so hindi ka pwedeng gamitin ang Panginoon. Maling katulad niya. Amen? Maling katulad niya. In fact, mga kapatid, gusto ng Panginoon, empty ka lahat. Wala, wala, kang, wala kang sinasandalan, wala kang sinasabing, uh, mayroon ako nito kaya makapaglingkod ako. Hindi. Yung walang wala ka pero naglilingkod ka sa Diyos. Amen? Yung wala kang kain pero naglilingkod ka sa Diyos. Yung wala kang tulog pero naglilingkod ka sa Diyos. Sumusunod ka. Amen? Amen. Hindi dahil, wow, uh, day off ko ngayon. Kaya mga paglilingkod ako. Hindi. What if kung may duty? Paano mo yan? Talagang, ano, yung, talagang ipaglalaban. Amen? With your faith. Lord, I know na bising bising yung skill. Amen? I am rooted. Amen? Pero Lord, in Jesus' name, iaayos mo ang time ko para lalo akong kapaglingkod sa'yo. Amen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mga ganitong bagay, mga kapatid. Yung gusto ng Lord, walang wala ka sinasandala. Amen? Secure mo yung ano, bank account mo, kaya, ah, okay na ako. Pwede na ako maglingkod. Amen? Mga kapatid, tangi ang Diyos lamang ang pagdidipindihan mo. Kaya niyang hibuin kahit sino para i-bless ka. Amen? Kaya niyo. Kung hinihibo kayo, come. Bless the life of the servant of God. Amen? Amen. For His glory. Amen? Huwag yung inipinit yan. If you are living in spirit to bless the servant of God, bless them. Amen? Bless them. And whoever bless them, the Lord will also bless them. Yeah. Yung sinabi ng Lord sa Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. Amen? But whoever curses them, the Lord will curse them too. Amen? Amen. Kasi ganito, iniingatan ng Lord ang kanyang mga ginagamit. Amen? Gusto niyo pasadaan niyo? Sige po, basahin natin. Genesis 12, verses 1 to 3. Bawa natin balikan niya. Amen? Para ipakita natin. Now the Lord had said to Abraham, Get out from your country, of your country. From your family, from your father's house. See, you know, everything. Wala, wala, wala kang ano, wala kang uh, hindi mo iwanan yung magulang mo, hindi mo iwanan, hindi mo iwanan lahat ng mga kalang mo sa buhay. <coughs> hindi ka pwede magiging disciple, sabi ng Luke 14, 26 to 7, di ba? At ito po ay pinagbungad yan, mga kapatid, kay Abraham. Kaya nga mga kapatid, tinawag siya ng father of faith because nung tinawag siya ng Panginoon, talaga, pinaiwanan niya lahat. Amen? At yung tutunguhan niya, mga kapag, hindi rin niya alam. Ang naisa ng Lord 
ako ang magsasabi sa iyo kung ano gagawin mo basta manampalatay. Sabi ng verse 2, I will make you a great nation, I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. Amen? Amen. That's why we are blessed by God, so that we become a blessing. Amen? Hindi, hindi ka gagamitin ng Lord na pagpapala kung hindi ka pinagpala ng Diyos. Verse 3, ang promise ng Lord, I will bless those, I will bless those who bless you. There will be an extra prayer for those who bless us, uh, for those who bless the servant of the Lord. Can you follow the conviction of the Spirit? You know, I might not need your money. I might not need your food. But if it is a blessing, I will be absent. Hindi natin pwede pangyayin. Kahit one million lang yan, okay na sa akin. Tangkat. Praise the Lord. Amen? Ito yung sinasabi ng Lord sa buhay natin. I will curse him who curses you. Amen? See how the Lord will protect the servant of God. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Amen? Sige, bago to that, ano, yung instruction ng Lord. Para tayo, magkaroon ng compassion. Amen? Sige, magkaroon ng napakaliwanan ang sinasabi ng Lord. Why? <coughs> Bakit niya sinasabi ito? Bakit yung compassion na ito ay ganyan? At ito yung kailangan ng bawat mananampalataya, yung puso ng Diyos? Habi na si Hebrews 4, verse 15, Amen? He is our high priest. Amen? He is our high priest na hindi niya makakaligtaan yung mga bagay na ito. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses. Amen? But was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Amen? Kaya nga, ano, mga kapatid, alam na alam niya kung ano yung mayroon. Amen? That is why He is our ruler. Amen? He is our great high priest. Amen? Amen? So sabi doon, mga kapatid, sa Romans 12, verse 15, ipinakita ng Lord sa Lord. Yeah, rejoice with those rejoice who rejoice, and with, with those who weep. Si mga kapatid, pagkasiyahan, pag-blessing, makikita mo, lahat, amen, ariyan, Pero pagkalungkutan, may sakit, may pangangailangan, wow, wow, pihira kang mga. Pero sa mga tunay na Christian, sabi mo sa Diyos, handa tayo. Handa tayo. Hindi mga kapatid. Paano kaya yung nangangailangan? Diyan ka susubukin. Common yung ano, you rejoice with those who rejoice eh. Amen? What if Yung second part, weep with those who weep. Eh, may problema ito. Ay, okay, to pera na ng problema ito. <laughs> I mean, pero sabi ng Lord, kung nandun ka, yan ang totoo. Totoo ang puso mo. Amen? Di ba mga kaibigan, doon mo susukat, pag may problema ka, hindi ka iniwala. Amen? Amen. Ito yung sinasabi ng Lord. Sa buhay natin, ang totoo may compassion, Nandiyan siya sa pangangailangan. Amen? Amen. Amen. Bakit siya naman lagi nangangailangan? Wala pa akong dinating sa kanya. Oh, you are blessed. That is why you are blessed to be a blessing. Amen? Amen. Amen. Kung bakit ikaw ay nagiging channel of blessing ng Lord sapagka pinagpala ka ng Lord. Amen. Hindi ka naman ilalagay sa posisyon na ganyan, hindi ka ilalagay sa sitwasyon na yan kung hindi ka pinagpala ng Lord. Amen? Amen. Hindi ka naman talaga gagawin ng Panginoon na channel of blessing kung buksin niya ako. Amen? Di ba? Amen, mga kapatid? Amen. At pag nandun yung puso mong ganyan, at nakikita mong lumalago yung mga tinutulungan. Amen? Amen? 
Ano yung pati hindi ko lang i-react external namin. Pati sa mga nakakasunan. Uh, hindi lang nakakatax. Talagang ginagamang ko lang. Grabe comfort, grabe kasiyahan ang mararamdaman. That is why I rejoice. Amen? Amen. Doon ang isang paratandaan. Those who are rejoicing with those rejoicing, hindi pa tuloy yan. Makikita mo ang mga totoo. Kung sila ay uh, nakikiyap sa mga nagsisigiyap. Amen? Kaya mong malungkot sa mga nalungkot. Amen? Amen. Eh, nagkasakit sa ano? Kaya normal lang yung magkasakit. Mga kapatid, dalawin mo. Ipakita mo yung simakasiya mo. Ipakita mo yung mga passion mo. Amen? Amen? Your present is a blessing for her, for him. Amen? Di ba mga kapatid? Sino dito ang nasubukan ng nanghihina, nagkasakit? Amen? Amen? hindi siya pinansin. Wala na nagpamahal sa akin. Amen? Pero pag nandyan ang mga messages, nandyan ang mga tawag, nandyan ang mga presensya ng mga taong lumalapit sa kanya, na nakikira. Amen? Nahanda magbukas ang kanilang mga pangal. Ito yung mga totoo. May compassion. Amen? Ako natin. Ako natin. Tinan niyo po yung macho court nito. Amen. Kung ano ang ginawa ng Lord to God. He sold the multitudes. Amen. Empty is to man. Walang paruroonan. Gaano mo sila kanami? Handa niya. Handa niya ang ihanda. Handa niya ang ibigay ang buhay niya. Para sa kanami. Wala siyang inaasahan na may bibigay niya. Pero na yung niwala siya, may gagawin na Diyos. Amen? And when Jesus went out, He saw a great multitude, that is like 5,000 men. Amen? And He so moved, He was moved, He was moved. Take note, I said, I, we have defined compassion. You are influenced, you are driven, you are moved by the Spirit, by the love of God. Amen? Jesus was moved with compassion. Amen? For them, and heal the sick. Amen? The harvest is plentiful, amen, in our text, but the workers are few. The harvest, the needy, the loose sheep are plentiful. We are called by God for this ministry. God is instructing us. This is the instruction of the Lord in Matthew 10. A clear instruction what to do. Amen? Pag hindi nagaganap sa buhay mo ito, hindi ka pagganap. Wala ka pang tutuong compassion sa mga na mawala ka. Amen? Hindi yung kung sino-sino ang lalapitan mong bahaginan. You are driven, you are moved by the Spirit of God. You have the heart like God having a compassion to the soul of the Lord. Amen. Why? Dahil may babala ang Diyos doon sa atin. Masasayang na. Like in this car na maraming time, pera, effort, sa isang kaluluwang, hindi naman talaga siya yung nawawang ang kaluluwang. Amen? Masasayang. Ang pinapahan, kaya nga mga kapatid, you cannot just serve God. The Lord will choose you, will call you, and choose you to serve Him. Why? Because you do not know the full depth. Amen? Oh, the individual's pain, need, and suffering. And you don't know the exact loose soul, loose sheep of the house of Israel. Who knows? See? Amen? Ami, ang Diyos na. Kaya binigay niya ang Spirit niya sa atin. Para base doon sa Espiritu niya. Hayaan mo i-convict ka. Hayaan mo i-move ka ng banal na Espiritu na ito. Yan, ituturo niya sa iyo. Bibigyan ka ng conviction na talagang so strong para yan ang lapitan mo. Yan ang mga walang kaluluwa. Hindi 
lahat ng kaluluwa. Pinapahanap ng Lord, pinapahanap, pinapahanap ang mga nawawalang kaluluwa. Amen. Hindi lahat ng kaluluwa ay anak ng Diyos. Amen. They are all, we are all created by God. Lahat ay creation ng Lord. But not all are sons and daughters or children of God. Amen. At kayo yung kaya nga pinapahanap niyo yung tanging nawawala. Amen. in the past, in our old life. Amen. We are now saved people. <coughs> Tayo na po yung nahanap, kabilang na sa kaligtasan. Amen. Amen. Kaya nga mayroon siya itinuro sa atin in Acts chapter 3, verse 19 to 23, ipinaunaw na ng Lord to sa ating buhay. Kung anong kahalagaan ang repentance, kasi yan ang tatap, yan ang Ayan, ayan ang, ang katibayan na siya ay anak ng Diyos na nawawala, nanunumbalik. Amen? Amen? When Jesus heard it, He said to them, those who are well, no, no, Acts 3, Acts 3, 19 to 23, 19 to 23, Amen? 19 to 23, yan. Repent therefore and be converted. See, mga kapatid? Sino mga hintil na yan? Sino yung mga kaluluwa na yan na mayroon silang ganyan na mag, sila ay uh, magsisisi ha, at makambalik sa palita. Only the loose sheep of Israel. Only the uh, loose souls. Amen? Yung mga nangon mo ng kaluluwa. Kaya nga inispecify ng Lord yung mga Amen? Repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out so that times of repression may come from the presence of the Lord. And 20, and that He may send Jesus Christ who was preached to you before. And verse 21, whom heaven must receive until the times of restoration of all things which God has spoken by the mouth of all His holy prophets since the world began. And 22, for Moses truly, ito po yun, ito natin, even Moses, used by God to tell this. Amen. For Moses truly said to the fathers, the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your brethren. Him you shall hear in all things whatever he says to you. In verse 23, and it shall be that every soul who will not hear the prophet shall be utterly destroyed among the people. Take note. We will repeat that. Amen. All souls but the loose souls, the loose sheep. Maliwanag ito, pag-aaral natin ito, mga kapatid. You should be able to know this and understand. You have to receive this. Amen? Amen. Hindi yung, ah, nakita mo yung kaluluwa, ah, kaluluwa. Amen? You should believe with the Spirit. You should be moved by the compassion of God. Amen? You should be moved by the Spirit of God. You should be driven by the Spirit of God. You don't know that. I mean, again, the compassion, the truest compassion, is only found in the nature of God. Because God, God, God Himself, I mean, who only knows the exact situation, the inner depth, the full depth of, of everything in between. I mean, siya lang ang tangi nakakalam yan. Kaya siya yung magiging order ng lahat ng ginagawa natin. Amen? That is why there is Romans 8.14. Those who are led 
by the Spirit of God are sons of God. Amen. Those who are not led, they are not sons. Amen? Amen. Yung gawa ng gawa, wala naman leading ng Spirit. Hindi po sila yung son. Amen? Kailangan ko din ka ng Spirit. Amen? Amen? Amen. Again, mga kapatid, in Acts 3.23, napakaliwanag ang sinasabi ng Lord. Amen? Napakaliwanag. Napakaliwanag ang sinasabi niya. And it shall be that every soul, every soul, tagalogin natin, at mangyayari na ang bawat kaluluwa na hindi makinig sa pulpetang ngayon, Amen? Tinutukoy niya si Lord dito. Amen? Ay pupok sa ing lubos mula sa gitna ng bayan. That is why in the book of Matthew chapter 25, ipinaliwanan ng Lord na mayroong kambing, mayroong tupa. At mahihiwala ito. Amen? After si Lord doon sa mga tupa, mawala. Amen? Hindi siya after doon sa mga kambing. Amen? Ano natin? Amen. I think from verse 34. Amen? Ito ba to 25 now? nakita no. Anyway, ah, uh, po yung ano, uh, pamantay ng Lord sa buhay natin. Amen. Nako natin mga kapatid. Amen. Paano tayo magkaroon ng puso ng Diyos? Amen. Makikita mo na may puso pa kagaya ng Diyos kung ikaw ay committed to the decision. Amen. This is a common ministry among all believers. This is a common If you are not evangelizing, you are not connecting so to God to the church. Hindi pa gaganahan na Christian. Wala pa yung puso mo na kagaya ng puso ng Diyos. Amen? Nakuha natin mga puti. Handa na ba tayo? Amen. Sino ang may puso ng Diyos? Amen. Magkikita sa Diyos. Wala ka, ng, wala ka ng hunger na sa mga kalulungan. Don't show me the loose yun. Show me the loose sheet. Amen? Kung paano ka gamitin ang Panginoon sa mga nangawalang kaluluwa. Amen? You have to pray and ask for the leading of the Spirit. Amen? To show you the loose soul, the loose sheet of His will. Amen? In your workplaces. Amen? In Bata, in somewhere, anywhere. Amen? Mababakasyon ka sa airport pa lamang. Nandun na yung heart sabi mo po kung kaya, ipakita mo sa amin kung sino mga 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 tayo ito yun, tayo po. Amen? Kung marumi ito, paano mo lalagyan ng tubig to na iinumin mo? Can you? Pwede, pwede. Kaya mo inumin yung marumi? Di ba hindi? At paano, paano mo lalagyan niya marumi? Kailangan tanggalin mo muna yung dumi. Di ba? Di ba? Saka ka ngayon, lalagyan. Kaya nga nililinis muna tayo ng Panginoon bago na tayo. Again. Amen? Amen? You got the message last Friday. The earth was formless and empty. Amen. And the Lord said, He prophesied to the Spirit hovering, moving in our life, putting things in us until we become completely formed Amen. and created by God in His own likeness. Amen. Then, doon lang magaganap mga kapatid 
ikaw nga ay mula sa Diyos. Binuo ka ng Diyos. Isa kang servant ng Lord. Isa kang gamit gamit Empty vessel of honor ka na. Not just empty vessel. In the beginning, you will be empty vessel. But after God will completely fill you up, form you, then you will become empty vessel of honor. Amen. Amen? Because there are empty vessel of this honor. Amen? Tayo, empty vessel of honor. I think Second Timothy, Amen. Chapter two, uh, twenty to twenty. I think so, Amen. Pinaliwan ng Lord ko ano yung empty vessel of honor, at saka empty vessel of honor, Amen. Kamo na tayo mga kapatid. Amen. Hanggat hindi ka nagpapa empty, hindi mo nire release lahat yan na mayroong ka. Hindi mo inaabrut yan. Hindi mo hindi ka naging alis sa Lord sa lahat. Ganyang pahapyo lamang yan. Kaya hindi ka magamit-gamit ng Panginoon may dili. Dahil sa akin. At ito po yung objective ng Lord sa mga. Purity of heart. In Matthew 5 verse 8, Blessed are those who are pure in heart. For they will see God. Seeing God, you cannot see here. You can see God. Meaning to say, you are sure, assured of your salvation. Meaning you have a pure heart. Having pure heart, you know, vessel of this power. You might be at the vessel of this power if you are not empty in your soul. Amen? And this is part of the instruction of the Lord. Sabi ng Lord to all, sabi pinasa kanina yung instruction niya. Need not to bring anything. <laughs> Need not to bring anything. Bag, sandals, anything. serve God, to be His instrument. Do it as early as possible. Response to God. Amen? As a matter of humility and honesty to God. Amen? Amen. Marami kang reservations of way. Hanggang hindi mo na-release niya. Ang dami kang inaalaga ang kasalanan. Amen? Ang dami mong excess bucket sa buhay. is preparing the leaders first then all the church there will be a complete deliverance na mangyayari yung complete cleansing na mangyayari then God will start to use your life might be if our way Pinapalitan ng masamang spirit. 
na kung kumisa maraming hindi ka okay. Sure, we have to But that's all I want. All night long, I'm not like you. Yung kapira ng oras na yun, yung pagdating natin, ay ibigay ko naman sa akin. Send on Lord on Buena, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 Anda na tayo? Amen. Kung gusto mo talagang gamitin ka ng Panginoon as spare that in sign of the Lord sa buhay mo, kailangan mo magpanis. Amen? Kailangan mo magpanis. Kailangan mo matanggalan lahat, lahat, lahat. lay down. They said, we are laying down everything. Then, in the second session, no, you still have reservation. Come on. <laughs> Wala kang malulusot. Pag sinabi ng Lord, mayroon ka pang reservation. Hindi mo pa talaga binigay lahat. Kung minsan, nine session na, hindi mo pa binibigay lahat. Oh Lord, bigay mo yun. Position, okay, lahat na. Sabi ng Lord, lahat ay labas niya. Wala siya na sa vision. Kaya gano'n na lamang yun. Boom! Amen. Pero may kaunda din tayo. Ang hindi na siguro yun. Kasi si Rick Garcia. Aha! Pero kung sinasabi si Lord sa akin, hindi yung paninalabas na. Sino ang mga yun? See you on Wednesday. Sino? See you on Wednesday. After the work of the movie music, doon tayo sa baba. Amen. Amen. Sinapaan tayo ng Lord. After this, Exploration of Asia. 
it takes life to do this. It takes life to do this. Kaya mo sumunod sa Lord. Kaya mo na kong to. Kaya mo sumunod sa Lord. Talagang bibis tayo mo sila talagang pagkahanda mo sila. Magluluto mo sila. See, I don't have time but I have time. You need spirit pa rin ng Lord. Yung time para In fact, mga patalik ko sa sarili ko na bibili, bibili na ako ng tinapay. Bibili na ako ng show up. Pero may things. Hindi ko gaya gawin sa sarili ko. Pero kaya kong gawin. Amen. Yeah.